Hey guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. Price analysis on altcoins. Today we'll start off as ever, we'll just take a quick look at Bitcoin and then we'll look at the assets chosen by you guys. I put that tweet out on Sunday asking for some assets and we got shitloads. So we'll just take a look at some that we didn't uh, manage to take a look at yesterday. So we'll start off with Bitcoin as ever and we do know that we are in this massive downtrend since the all-time highs up at 69k um, rejection here back in March of 2022 come back down retested and retested again we're pretty much there we're about on that trend line you would expect that we do break that trend line at some stage and what happens after that who knows it might be a fake out and drop back into it or we go on to have a sustained period of bear market action I'm not going to say we're anywhere close to a bull market because I think over the next 12 to 14 to 16 months, I think we're still going to see some major, um, I don't know what was the word you say, tactics that government's going to play, which are going to pull the markets down even further. I mean, the economic state of the world is in shit state. We've also got a lot of things that could happen in cryptocurrency. We've got the Mount Gox funds that could get dumped next year. We've got all the um, POS ETH, um, which have been stacking up, which is going to be sold. So I think we are due a bear market rally. And also, I don't think we're out of that bear market yet because I still believe that we may get a significant dump going in towards Q1, Q2 of next year. Just my thoughts, it may not happen and we've got so much going on, we've got recession looming. A lot of things, including war, could go against us which could pull the markets down. But I still think we're overdue a bear market rally at some stage. I'm looking for Bitcoin to push up to at least 26, 27k at some point over the next month or two. So that's Bitcoin. We'll take a look at some altcoins oh, asked by you guys and let's have a look on here. So um, PYR, let's have a look at that one for starters. It's an asset I keep meaning to buy. I, I've, I used to own a little bit and then I sold it and then I thought, I mean, everything they've got their own blockchain now, which is layer one. We've got so many things that's going on with this asset and look at the price, it's pretty much flatlining. If you look at this, it's been bouncing off this region down here. Uh, $2.69 of course it did, 69 and um, it bounced up there and it is, you can see, it is in with this range here where the highs is there, the lows is there and it is bouncing up and down. So obviously the first target is for you to try and break through that $5.25 region. If you're looking for buys, then let's just have a look at the where the EQ is, which is the equal, equilibrium, which is the central trading area of that range. If you look at the bottom here, drag it all the way across. And there. We've actually got above that EQ now, which is a good sign in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for buys, then I still target this range here at 396. But if you start getting a few daily closures on here, the price is going to push up and potentially push up towards 525. In terms of a, uh, a price range from current prices up to there, still another 26%. And there's a good chance that when it does push up there, it is going to reject and come back down towards mid range. In terms of Fibonacci, if from the bottom, if we go all the way up to that top range, then I would still look at buys back down at 443 depending if it rejects but I think for now personally it could be a good time to buy as we are now in this higher range and it could push up towards this region here at 525 so I think that's a good time to buy um, I mean if we do break it out that meaning you'll look up towards these bottom wicks at 669 and then you can see it hit around here it's a decent level of support if you look at these double taps there uh, tap there we've got some closures within that wicks below it I mean it was a major level of support there so I think that could be a decent range too if you're managing to buy something here and it pushing up today you're talking about a 100% move so I would be buying here if we do flip 528 to support, then you are going to get some sell orders for $8. So that's Pyre. We'll take a look at Trias next. I've not looked at Trias for a long time either. Wow, that's um, done a significant move to the downside too. If you look at this on the weekly, every chart looks just horrible, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. We are in some respect. Um, towards the bottom of a move you would say most charts just look absolutely horrific but you can see like, quite a few closures on the weekly time frame there and double bottom on the weekly where um, you can see a double bottom which has had a good reaction so far so for me um, that's looking not too bad there for you can see a good reaction it is looking good for some potential buys and then if you're looking to sell 
Um, you're looking at a major spot level around there. I mean, look at that. That could be a potential move up to $1, just above we're currently at 92 cent now. So anywhere up to $1 would be decent. Break that, you're looking at around 121 and then straight up here to 177 are some areas where the price um, could push up to. Someone's mentioned Plu. God, I used to hold Plu a long time ago. Don't even bother with it anymore, to be honest. Um, it's one of those projects that's been around forever, but never really done anything substantial. Uh, volume is fairly low, and this always has been. I think the lack of marketing um, it is what it is with this asset. Look at this on the trend, though. That is the trend which it is adhering to, really, isn't it? I mean, we've got some lower trend line support there, so if you're looking for buys, then why not? look to target some buys down here which is at around seven dollars that could be a decent area if the price does drop down there and if it drops down there and it does bounce off there then you're going to look for um holding it and then seeing you can take some profit up around nine ten dollars it's a strange looking chat that because i think what's going on you get some major major pumps i've seen this go up to thirty dollars before and just drop dump straight back down it's same every time it gets any type of sustained buying pressure then the selling just comes in instantly which is a bit annoying really but yeah i'd be buying at around seven six six ninety five seven dollars and i'd be selling potentially um, up at ten dollars or up at around 13 towards the top of that move someone mentioned c web on my twitter let me see if that's on here yeah we'll look at the q coin chart for that i'm not too sure on data or what even this asset is um coin web this is the daily time frame. That looks a bit of a bleak chart as well, but you can see very similar to the um, the Q coin chart. You can see there's some type of of trend support there. Um, that's more like it, isn't it. You get my picture. <laughs> that's not, that didn't line up too well, did it? But you can see that we are starting to get some type of trend here. You can see that prices is adhering to some form of um, structure here. We are bouncing up and down of that region. Um, and if you look at this from the lows, which happened back in May, which is quite a significant time away, um, so far it's made 188% recovery, and that is seeming to, to progress quite nicely. I mean, if it just continue this move, um, you, you're really going to look up at this region here at around four cent to look to take some profit. Uh, we've got way above this level of resistance here. We're currently sat in this trend here. If you look at this line, we'll put a box on this. So look at the support levels there, got all the way through, and it was resistance for a while, and every time we've got above that, it has rejected, and that's where we're currently sat. We're currently sat on support. So you're really looking to see if we can get some closures here, and then the price hopefully will start pushing back up and heading up towards around 40 cents. So we're currently at 26, potentially look up towards that that 40, um, yeah, that 4 cent region here. So 2.6 cent, looking to take profit at around 4 cents up at that region. What else have we got? We'll look at one more. Um, VRA. Q coin chart. I used to hold some of this as well. I don't hold any more. And that chart does look um, quite abysmal. I might, did I look at this on yesterday's video? I'm not too sure. We're looking at it again anyway. And price, yeah. Doesn't look too healthy at all, does it? What's that in terms of a market cap? Now I'm quite intrigued. Veracity market cap is 39 million. That is insane how low that's gone. But yeah, I mean, price is not looking good at all, is it? It is still tumbling down. And if you're looking for buys and the team is still building, which is one thing you need to, to make sure of, then you're going to look down here at around 0 0.00. Two zero. That's an area where we could price could go down to. There is a support region down there before it formed a base and pushed up to that next level. So yeah, it's not looking too good at to be honest. Price is just it looks horrific, doesn't it? If we look at this, I'm not even gonna look at that actually. In far of how far it's dropped, it must be a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's not looking good at all. Coming down to our this level support where the price hopefully will get if you're looking for some buys. If you're looking for any sells, then this region here is still level of resistance at 5.1 cent. But yeah, unfortunately, that is not the um, the best chart that I've seen out of all the ones we looked at today. But that's it. I've covered pretty much every chart there, apart from some that I don't know of. I've, I've there's some um, comments on that tweet I put out, but I've just not heard of the asset, so I don't want to go blind into that and have a look. Um, but Drop me some messages on Twitter, comment on this video, whatever you want. If you want me to look at any of your assets, 
I will cover them for you guys. So that's it for today. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and I'll catch you next time.